I uh, feel like shit. I got fucking eye boogers and shit. I got snot. My lips are bloody, but I'm going to review Impact. So, uh, bro, fucking Eddie Edwards is a warrior, man. He's won the title a month ago, right? How many defenses has he had on TV? God damn. I thought it was going to be EC3 versus uh, Eli Drake. But, uh, yeah, Eddie Edwards kicks off the show. He's a champion. And then Eli Drake wants to cash in his uh, pound for gold. Uh, EC3 comes out. And this would be a really great triple threat match, you know. Maybe even a four-way because then the Miracle came out. The Miracle actually gained my respect for, like, his him and Maria's anti-Trump tweets. And then, you know, typical banter. I want a title shot. I want a title shot. And then Eli Drake. Yeah, he's a dummy. Yeah, he's a dummy. Yeah, he's a dummy. He sounds fucking stupid as hell. I don't know why people like him. Like I said, I liked him in the Indies when he was Sean Ricker because he, he spoke like that, but he always said something different. He's saying the same shit. I don't know why, but... And then they all start fighting. Uh, Mike Bennett actually gets enough of EC e Eli Drake's bullshit, so he starts to fight. And then Moose comes out. And Moose clears out. He should be a world champion, bro. So, yeah, Moose versus uh, Mike Bennett. Again, Bound for Glory rematch. And uh, Mike Bennett won by count out. Cool. Um, after this, we had the Hardy Boys. This, this segment was actually aired on their YouTube. Uh, it fucking Brother Nero goes to the Hardy house. And then Rebecca's like, he doesn't remember anything. And then uh, Senior Benjamin's just sitting there like this. And uh, Matt Hardy is dressed like Richard Cunningham. And then he's like building, he's like building something. And then Jeff is like, do you remember who you are? No, I do not remember. I am an engineer. Um, This really sucks because I would love Matt Hardy. Like, I want him to be his old self again. You know? Did y'all hear that? So, yeah, it kind of sucks that he has amnesia. Al Snow is back. And he's like, there's a do, 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 do. I'm back. Look at me. I'm back. And the tribunal is in the ring. For some reason, they're dressed up like the shield. And then um, Al Snow is, like, ready to celebrate. But they're like, we don't need you. Then they beat his Al Snow up in the middle of the ring. They turned on him. Uh, whatever. And then Mahabali Shira just comes out like, what the fuck is going on over here? And they say, go back to India. And Mahabali starts fighting them. And then they beat him down, too. And the tribunal... Uh, I'm with her. Okay. Cool. Uh, EC3 defeated Abyss. Okay. After that, Matt Hardy's like eating soup or something. And then in the house, the house Hardy is like, sing with me. I fade away and classify myself as. And Matt's like, uh, this is ironic. So then Jeff is like, let's go for a ride. I do not want to go for a ride. And then he, he goes for the ride with him. You know? If you want to come and take a ride with me, why are y'all looking at my notes for? So um, this was weird. Okay, JB's in the ring, right? And then he asked Gil Kim to come out. Gil Kim's wearing a dress with the title. She looks nice or whatever. And then she says she's got to say something. Um... I don't know what it was. I think she wants to quit or retire or something. She asked Jay to come out. First of all, she was telling JB that she loved him. Okay. And then she asked Jay to come out. And Jay's like coming out. And then she's like, Jay, you're the future of this business. Jay looks like she's about to cry. You know? And then like, yo, Kim's like, I want to tell you guys something. I want you to know that. And then the decay the music hits. I'm surprised they're still using that theme with Cork and Gone, but Rosemary's back. And Rosemary comes out with Abyss and Crazy Steve. Um, For some reason, they just start beating the shit out of everybody. Like, they attacked Gail Kim, they attacked JB, and then they attacked, they made Jade watch, and then uh, Rosemary kicked the uh, trash can into Jade's face. Um, And then Rosemary's, like, locking Gail Kim up in, like, a fucking arm bar or a neck hold or whatever. And Gil's tapping. Um, Decay. It looks like they're back. But yeah, uh, Decay. You're fucking disgusting. Uh, X Division match. Uh, Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee. Versus DJ Z Mahon and Rockstar Spike. 
Um, this is another one of the qualifiers because all the matches on the show were qualifiers for the uh, the world title contendership. And for some reason, I thought DJ was going to win. Maybe Spud since he's been in the picture before. For some reason, Trevor Lee won. Uh, okay. Um, what if he f takes the title from Eddie Edwards? Oh, my God. Please, no. I mean, Marche Rocket would have made a little bit more sense, but whatever. Allie's back. Allie's been gone for a couple of weeks after being beaten by Laurel Vanessa. Brandy Rhodes comes out like, hey, Sienna and Maria have been beating me up. And so was Laurel. Even though Sienna and Maria only beat her up once, and Laurel didn't touch her. But where's Cody? Anyway, and she's like, help me, Allie, help me. Please help me. And I was like, well, Miss Brandy, Miss Maria is, is, is my boss, and, 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 and I, I can't fight her. Sorry. And then she walked away. She reminds me of, I don't know if you guys were kids and you saw Power Rangers Mystic Force. Claire from Power Rangers Mystic Force. That's that's what Ali reminds me of. Look look her up. Um, and then we had ourselves uh, Bredo and uh, Robbie E being silly backstage. Um, Aiden O'Shea goes up to them and he's like, hey, the boss says you guys have a match. There is no boss. Corgan's out. A handicap match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's against? Bobby Lashley. You know, oh, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Lashley's out of the title picture. He squashes the shit out of Grado and Robbie E. Robbie E got the sickest spear I've ever seen from Bobby Lashley. Lashley wins. Uh, Aaron Rex is being a dick in his car, and he's like, this title is mine, mine. Look at that. I see my reflection. And then Jesse Goddard's just standing in front of the, the car that he's in like this. And Aaron Rex is like, what do you want? He's like, I want to fight. Bam, bam, bam. And then they brawl for like five minutes um, in the back. And then Aaron Rex gets away. Um, Jesse Goddard's why? Okay, anyway. Um, Brother Nero is riding with Matt. And Matt is behind him, scared. Like, uh, uh, that's dangerous. And then he says, this is Skarsgård, your boat. I don't talk to a boat. It's a boat. It's a dilapidated boat. And then I was saying this from the beginning. But he wants to put him in the lake of reincarnation. And I'm like, finally, yeah, put his ass in there. And Matt Hardy wouldn't go in. He said it's too cold. So Jeff is like, I'll go to the impact zone and fight DCC myself. And then he leaves Matt Hardy behind. And Matt Hardy's like, I don't fight. That's, that's dangerous. That's very danger. <laughs> the main event, uh, Eli Drake versus Eddie Edwards for the TNA World Championship. Um, I'm, this is Eli Drake's cash-in. Uh, good match, um... It's really nice. I don't like Eli anymore, but it's really nice that they gave him and Eddie Edwards the uh, the main event spot of this show. Um, one thing I was telling my brother was it's ironic because when I when I started watching Sean Ricker, Eli Drake in the Indies in 2011, Eddie Edwards was actually the the uh, the Ring of Honor champion at the time. So that's pretty cool to see them in 2016 fighting, and it was around this time too, November, so five years ago. Um, I thought that Eli Drake might have gotten the victory, but nope. Boston knee party. One, two, three. Oh, yo, this guy's a warrior, bro. He's fought last. He beat him twice. He beat Cody Rhodes. He beat, uh, Eli Drake, bro. This guy's beating everybody, man. And then he, uh, Eddie Edwards is celebrating because he, because he's the champion still. Thank goodness. Because I really didn't want Eli to win. I know a lot of you did, but I didn't. So Eddie Edwards is still the champion. And then, psh, warning. What the fuck? And then the, the, the three fat guys, the DCC, they show up. And they beat the shit out of Eddie Edwards. I don't know what beef they have with him. Do they want the, the world tag team titles and the world title? I don't know. So they beat the shit out of Eddie Edwards and he's down. And for some reason, the people that were just chanting Eddie are chanting DCC. Okay. So then one of them takes off the mask, and it's... I'm not even going to pretend like I don't know who it is. It's Eddie Kingston. And he's like... And then the other one takes off his mask, and he's got this long-ass hair. And it's Bram. Bram. So he's still there, right? And then the leader takes off his mask, and people go crazy, and it's James Storm. Cowboy James Storm. The DCC has been revealed as Cowboy James Storm, Bram, and Eddie Kingston. From uh, Chikara, Ring of Honor, and PWG. So yeah, they're they're here, and they've been revealed. So yeah, and then they pick up the title and they want it. 
But it's cool that they finally got revealed after all this time. Oh boy. This thing you want to watch the next episode of Impact, which I'm gonna, by the way. Uh, I can't wait. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm happy Eddie Edwards is still the champion and DCC has been revealed. The Death Count Council. So yeah, take it easy. And I hope Broken Mac gets his memory back. Take care. God bless. Bye.